guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larisha. I'm Andrew. And today we are combining Andrew's two favorite things, dessert and a quick taste test. So. <laughs> this might be too quick. <laughs> Um, so these are the Hershey plant-based bars. They have been out for a little while, but we have not found them in our area and we had to travel all the way to Hershey Park in order to find them for ourselves. So Hershey's now makes a plant-based chocolate bar that is oat chocolate based, and then they make uh, plant-based Reese's. So um, the allergens inside of the Hershey bar are almonds and soy, and inside of the Reese's ones are soy and peanuts. So nuts are in both of them regardless. Um, I did think it was odd. We did search like the entire shelves. I did think it was odd that the first one they made was almonds and sea salt and not just like a straight up plain Hershey bar. Mm. Did you think that or? You didn't really put too um, much effort into thinking about it. I, I didn't, but <laughs> when you say it, I, I could see why you know you would say that. But that also gives me the the angst that it might not taste as well as chocolate on its own. They had to like add something yeah, to it to like, make you. So I don't know. That's the way I feel when I hear about something like that. Yeah. So we will put a store locator in the post that is in the description box. These can be found at some Walmarts and Rite Aids. However, the ones in our area just haven't had them. Um, they range from $2.50 to $4 a bar. They were a little bit higher, I know, at the Hershey store, but some of the Rite Aids and Walmarts, the price listed when I do a Google search is $2.50, which I think is much more reasonable than $4 because it's, it's very small. This is one point five five ounces which i feel like is like half the size of a normal hershey bar we we haven't bought something like this in a while like a candy bar right so, so what what does that compare as far as price to a normal candy bar it's probably like double i feel like you can buy like a hershey bar for like a dollar dollar fifty oh you, so you don't know for sure you're just like guessing it yeah i guess we could look it up well, I know the lint ones that we had, we did a taste test for, um, they were, you know, the like normal size of a lint yeah, yeah, bar. Yeah, they were pretty big. And those were, I think, four fifty. So when you're talking about like, this is $4 and that's $4, like you're yeah. like, mm, I don't know. I meant like, just like a general Hershey bar, like what, what that would cost. Yeah, yeah, but we yeah. could possibly look it up. While we're doing this. Yeah. All right, so. So we're like just hopping into it? Yes. Okay. So our kids have tried this because we bought them and they're like, oh my God, I want to try it right now. But we have not. Do you like my voice of the kids? No, you sound exactly like them. Um, they talked about how fast they were melting in their hands. And I'm just pulling this out and you can see like some meltage that's, here. That's from just now? No, I wonder if it's from being in the car even though we put it on ice. Yeah. But I'm saying like it went like we walked from the store to the car and put it on ice, so it, it was melting pretty quickly. So there are three, six, nine, 12. I, I think, think I remember one. normal, normal. I think I remember, remember the previous chocolate we had, you know, Hershey's and stuff like that melting yeah. that quickly though. Oh, like regular Hershey's? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I get what you're saying. All right, ready? This is the normal Hershey bar. Actually, tastes pretty close to what I remember a Hershey bar tasting like. So this says the same, yeah. it is the same size, 1.55 ounces. This is at Target. A normal bar, regular milk, is $1.39. Mm -hmm. So this so would be basically another dollar on top of that. If, if you can find it for two fifty, dollars right, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't get a very nutty taste, even though there's almonds in here. Um, it's the chocolate comes through more than that. It is, it does taste very smooth, but it, it still to me tastes a little bit more on the dark side mm -hmm. versus being milk chocolate. Yeah. What about you? I agree. I agree with everything you said, except the, the nut part. The nut part, I think I remember being exactly the same. Okay. Where it's just like these fine little... It's more adds more crunch than shards adds taste. of nuts. You know what I mean in yeah. there. Well, shards sound kind of gross, but <laughs> here you go. Okay. Is this a normal size? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. You just critiquing all this, the size. Everything, things, huh? right? But they don't have the sleeves on them. They, right. It, it always no, still came with the. They're they're reducing their waist. 
Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, good. All right. Ready? Mm hmm. My first initial thought was that I didn't get the same taste, but when you start to really combine that peanut butter in your mouth, I don't know why I'm going like this. I do things like this all the time um, in my videos. I feel like it is like it melts all your fingers. Um, it's definitely a, like a it's better than the initial bite when I kept chewing. Like it got better. I don't feel like this tastes the same as a Reese's. I feel like the peanut butter is not as prevalent. No, you feel like it tastes exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> this is another episode of Andrew will disagree with everything Larissa says. <laughs> <laughs> I agreed in the first part. <laughs> I thought I did at least. So the second part is. Uh, well, I guess on the nuts part I didn't. Oh. It tastes like a normal straight up Hershey's, I mean Reese's. I haven't eaten a Reese's in like six, seven years. Right. <laughs> like I have no idea, but this, this tastes like what I remember. Mm -hmm. Like if, if I closed my eyes and you fed this to me, I wouldn't know if you fed me a normal one or the plant-based one at all. Like I, I, I feel like this is like, wow, this is actually really close to what I remember. Yeah, I think the issue for me is that I still feel like both of them taste a little bit more on a dark chocolate side than a, like a smoother milk chocolate side. Okay. And maybe that's interfering because I hate dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Whereas like you love chocolate no matter what form it comes in. Okay. What, what is that face? <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> I don't know. So, is literally the world's quickest taste test. So overall, you like them though. Overall, I like them. Yes. I, I, I wouldn't buy them. They're way too expensive. If the price came down to be more similar, would you keep buying them? Well, I, I don't buy candy like that in general, but like it would be more reasonable for me to get this inside of the store if the price came down. Like I'm saying, I wouldn't buy this for my kids because yeah. of the price. I would... they, they do, um, the price would be comparable to the Justin's ones. I, I don't buy those price. either. I know, but like we do sometimes for like Christmas and stuff like that. So like. Oh yeah, for sure. Same thing here. I would probably get this for like a yeah holiday or something like that. Right. You know, stocking stuff or something like that. But no, it might melt in the stocking. Just FYI. But <laughs> we covered price, allergens, taste. Yeah. Everything. If you have tried these, because I know a lot of people have, because people could find them way before we could. <laughs> so if you've tried them, let us know your thoughts in the comments. If there's another chocolate or candy that you would like us to try, give us a comment. That's not what I meant to say. Give us a comment. Give us a comment. Leave a comment. There will be a description. Uh, oh my God, I can't talk right now. It's okay. It's the chocolate. There will be a link in the description box that has price, po like where to find it, store locator, that's what it's called. I'm gonna stop talking now. Does that mean I have to start? Yes. I don't know where you left off. <laughs> <laughs> there would be a link in the post with the price and the, the locator. You don't even know what else goes. Ingredients. Oh, I do wanna address this because we had another comment, um, a couple of them on a recent video that said they really wish that we would talk about sugar and sodium and all of that stuff. We've done that in a previous video and it took way too much time. But what we have started doing is um, taking photos of the nutrition and the ingredient label and that is in every single post that is in the description box. So you can just blow that up on your phone or on your desktop and you can see all of the ingredients, all of the nutritional labels right on there. But it's just, it's way too much to talk about. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. It's a, it's a handful. Yeah. So. so hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you guys have anything else that you would like us to taste test, let us know and see you in the next video. Oh, and, and one of these guys is 210 calories. Just, one? Not just, the whole package? This is one serving. Isn't that one one serving would be one cup? No, it says serving size one package. So both of them. Oh, it's split up. I see. Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah, I was about to say this is, that's kind of, like you eat that would 420 be... <laughs> calories, basically that was almost, just one. I was like, holy moly, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I mean, 105 for a little piece of chocolate is still kind of high, but 
Uh, Not as bad as 420. Yeah, I think it's I think it's more within reason though. Yeah. Because I was about to say, <laughs> I definitely talk about that. So anyway. All right, guys. We hope you have a fantastic week, and we will see you in the next video. We're leaving good. Bye. Peace.